distracted me, so I wasn't paying attention to what happened on the field, and he nailed me with the ball. So he always felt bad about that. But uh, he, he's he's a great one. We love having him out here, and he's doing a good job for us. You said he's doing some film stuff and passing a little bit, or yeah, what, what and, kind of? Yeah, is he we doing? keep him out of all contact, so there's no uh, risk of injury. But uh, now he's he's just going to help out a lot, you know, as a student manager. And uh, uh, like I said, he wants to be a basketball coach someday, and uh, I think he's going to be a darn good one. He just asked you for the opportunity, and you yeah. said, "Why not?" Or yeah, oh, I, I'd love yeah. you know. He's talked to me a lot about what it takes to become a coach and uh, in, in the game of basketball and how to get in, and, and so we've had a lot of uh, talks about it. And uh, so you know, we just ended up he just ended up asking if he could come out, and we said we'd love to have him. He looks pretty knowledgeable in the game, or is he oh yeah, he... absolutely. And, and the guys love him. You know, they have a lot of respect for him, and they uh, they got out of running the other day because Dan. Mountain West uh, special teams player of the week, so <laughs> guys didn't have to run that day. Nice. Have you seen him dunk yet? Because he keeps talking about how he can dunk. No, I have not. I don't yeah, believe so. that, and we're not going to try that till off season. I won't let him. I won't let him play in any games right now, or, or, or get involved in anything physical. We're protecting that leg. You uh, obviously now the regular season here finally going to be coming up, starting here. What's uh, talk about you know kind of playing in this tournament against the WCC teams? Teams. You're familiar with, and obviously yeah. one guy in particular you're familiar with at with, with, with San right. Diego. Well, you know, that's the bad part. I always hate playing the, the you know, your the friends. I woke up and I was like, there's 350 schools and we got to play this one. And, uh, but because I have a lot of respect for them and the way they do it. And, and they've got a nice team this year. They're going to be good. And uh, so, you know, that's a tough opener. And this is the first time in my five years here that we've opened on the road. So, you know, it's we're going to have to play great basketball to come away. Uh, in this tournament. After the two exhibitions, you know, what have you maybe learned a little bit about your team and you know what most excites you about getting out there on Friday? Well I think what most excites me not just about Friday but this season is is how I think we can improve this team. We can we can get these you know a lot of these new guys are gonna continue to improve and, and get more comfortable in the system and uh, and they bring us things that we don't have and you know even Montigo got his first action the other night and you know he's only practiced three or four times so I know we can you know, we can eliminate some of the negatives he did and really accentuate all those positive things that he's able to do out there. What's this like as a coach? Uh, you know, you, all the off-season workouts, all the talk about the new guys coming in, and now it's now, now they count for real. I mean, starting yeah. on Friday. Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's a long grind, and it, you know, we can't put too much either way into this weekend, one way or the other. I mean, because you know, uh, the conference is what we're focused on down the road, but uh, and it, getting better for the conference. That's what these preseason games are for and so uh, you know you, you, you try not to you know put everything into this weekend but you know, that's kind of the instincts and that's kind of how the guys are they want to they want to go there and compete and, and they want to go there and play well kind of like Christmas morning though for you I mean to finally have some games that count and to kind of see what all this last you know five months or, or have, have kind of come together well you get to see them in the exhibition games, so that's yeah. nice that, that's the good thing about those exhibition games is probably a little less pressure and you know you but you get to play everybody and that you know I like those those are those are you need those uh, because you got 16 guys that are working really hard and, and to be able to reward, reward them with a little time on the floor and uh, in front of our crowd you know, I think those are valuable have you made determinations yet uh, in terms of the suspension for the first game in the second? yeah we're still you know working through some stuff and figuring all these things out and and you know with red shirting and all this stuff so these are all you know kind of not game time, but as we go forward. Still haven't determined red shirts, or have you been able to figure any of that out yet? Uh, not not anything yet that we're uh, ready know, to say. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I mean, because you just, you just never know. I mean, you think you got it all figured out, and then somebody gets hurt and changes everything. So uh, we'll, we'll kind of, that is one that you can kind of take to the last uh, minute.